Good evening, Rams, and welcome to the Monday Night Sports Show. Filling in for Erica Johnson, I am Cam Ebig. And I'm Rachel Hallam. We have a full show ready for y'all. Yet another scandal for CSU. A new episode of Bird's Eye View with Ethan Bird. And our play of Pick'em. Don't go anywhere because CTV Sports starts right now. student who formerly served during football games at Canvas Stadium recently went ahead and sued Colorado State University for allegedly failing to take action after she claimed she was sexually assaulted by prominent donor Michael Best on multiple occasions during football games over the past year. Schiller had been working at this position for a year at this point and had genuinely been enjoying her time at Canvas Stadium until her life changed in the fall of 2019. Schiller decided to tell her story to her employers, the situation was allegedly never handled. She was assigned to Best again and claims she was assaulted once more. Now Schiller has decided to open up to the public about her story and file a lawsuit against the university. Yeah, in the lawsuit, Schiller states that the defendant Best had touched her very inappropriately on the inner thigh, resulting in a bruise, was using vulgar language, and caused her distress. All while Best's attorneys claim the accusations are false, after the university was informed, Schiller states that, the Best simply, that Best was simply upgraded to a different suite, Schiller would not have to see him, and that she was demoted to a lower position. Schiller is looking to take the lawsuit to trial in hopes of making policy changes at the university. Colorado State University's football team might not be playing right now, but some of its alum definitely are. The Rams have six former players in the NFL currently. Currently, some including three starting wide receivers, Michael Gallup, Richard Higgin, and Osibili Johnson. Johnson and Gallup both contributed. Johnson getting three catches for 56 yards. Gallup getting three catches for 50. Not a good day for Higgins, though, only getting one target for nine yards. This part was just so great to see all of these guys. I mean, we had CSU had so many guys starting this weekend, and especially to see OBC Johnson finally get a starting position with the Vikings. I know it's only in his second year, but still, that's amazing definitely can call ourselves wide receiver university <laughs> absolutely well former CSU basketball star turned San Antonio Spurs assistant coach Becky Hammond is now up for a head coach job in the NBA Hammond after back-to-back -back sweeps in the playoffs the Indiana Pacers have dismissed their head coach Nate McMillan and are now looking for a strong role to fill the vacancy already receiving praise for her coaching jobs from current and former NBA players Hammond seems to be a shoe-in for the position, but she's going up against a lot of competition. Going up against more than 12 candidates, including fellow Spurs assistant coach Will Hardy, there's some work to be done. Now the Pacers have set a wide net to their set a wide, cast a wide net to find their leader and have started their virtual interview process. So now the ball is in their court, and NBA fans will have to wait for an answer. This was also great. I mean, Becky Hammond is such a star for CSU already. Huge legend amongst the uh, women's basketball. Yeah. And then going into the NBA and becoming the first woman to be an assistant head coach for a, a basketball team, and now being up for this great of a position, I mean, it's just fantastic. And most, most people don't even see her as just a woman's head coach. Everybody just loves her as a, uh, just a coach in general. It doesn't even seem like she's going to be the first woman's head coach. Such a great host that Becky Hammond is. To wait for an answer? No, I, <laughs> it's all good, but absolutely. And I, I mean, you take, go back to Paul Gasol, too. Yeah. The things that he said, he, she, he's saying that she's not just good at coaching. She's not good enough at coaching. It's, it's not that she's just barely scraping by at coaching. She is so good at coaching already, like right off the bat. Of course, and, you know, absolutely a fantastic player at Colorado State as well. Absolutely. By this time, CSU should have had the Rocky Mountain Showdown and a handful of other games in the books. But sadly, that isn't the case. And after the Mountain West determined last month that all fall sports and Mountain West championship events were postponed to the spring until further notice, CSU and Mountain West fans have been patiently waiting to hear some good news. 
Now, of course, almost a month later, those challenges are still at hand from Mountain West Board of Coaches and Student Athlete Representatives. All members of the Mountain West Conference have continually tried to meet to untangle this season. New scheduling including a possible spring season, enhanced medical protocols like daily virus testing and revised management plans are just a few of the issues being considered when it comes to play again. And as for now, the NCAA will meet once again on September 16th to act upon these parameters and give Mountain West fans probably a little hope. Now after all this news, it's time for a break. Stick around because Bird's Eye View is coming up right after the break.